Wait, so he's going to take over Earth and make Earth the new Krypton? That's the plot? Generic control in the deck of Gooey's Mirror here, back with another Star Trek video. And today we're doing Man of Steel, which is, I believe, the first of the new Superman movies. I don't know, I've never seen any of them. Uh, but I think he's actually doing a Superman themed month right now. Yeah, this video came out three hours ago. The last video I did was The Passion of the Christ, and my god, that was a copyright nightmare. But that wasn't even by Nostalgia Critic. He was Nostalgia Critic was featured on that video. You can check my reaction to that. I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description, and it's also in the playlist because the Nostalgia Critic's in it. It was by Cinema Snob, if you're well aware of who he is. But this is going to be Man of Steel, and then I think the next one was Batman v Superman. I'm not really sure. I remember that was, like, super hype, but then I think it kind of fell fat, flat on its face, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. Like I said, I've only seen, like, four DC movies ever, the first one being Green Lantern. That was definitely something. But shout out to the patrons, because they get the videos there early, and a lot of time of a pale channel. Could not do this if it was not for them. This is going to be a long video, so I hope you're ready for that, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and hope I made it just time a little better i look forward to reading your comments but let's go ahead and jump into man of steel all right hopefully i don't have copyright issues whoa okay he's superman i don't know who he is have we met him before is that russell crow i knew that because of gladiator i've never seen a superman movie also, never seen a Batman movie. Oh, what is his name? Oh. Is this just... <laughs> Wait, is Superman just Batman? <laughs> is it dark? It's blue. Then it's gonna be the butler. Yeah, Doug loves Batman, doesn't he? He doesn't. Does he care about Superman? I don't know. I mean, they do exist in the same universe. Yeah. Didn't he lift a book that was, like, with infinite pages? <laughs> Gotham. Is he emo? I believe it's Amy Adams. But Patty did have a girlfriend, did he? Do you have a bad credit card, though? This is a rap battle for sure. Yeah, but if Batman beat Goku in a death battle? I mean, if he had enough time to prepare, probably. I mean, that's in Batman in different versions. Oh. Oh, God. For what purpose? Oh, oh fuck, fuck you, Zack Snyder. <laughs> Did he do both their movies? Okay. That was a crazy intro. That was like, what, three minutes? That was like a, almost a three minute long song intro? Crazy. Oh, God. There. That was the Angry Video Game Nerd. Last week's video had the Cinema Snob, or it was the Cinema Snob's video, Doug was in it. Passion of the Christ. The copyright in that. Oh, God. It was it was uploaded a day late. I spent half of Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and half of Monday trying to get that video, a version of it, not blocked. Wait, everybody says it's great, and then they're like, they wait so is it a good movie or is it a bad movie 
Superman is back. Superman is dead. What was the last Superman movie before that? They only lack the light to show the way. For this reason, okay, why is all their profile pictures of Superman? Is there a form for it? There, it must be like a form. My only son. But he has uh, what's his face with him, doesn't he? Man of Steel sucks. Man of Steel is freaking awesome, and you know it. Yeah, maybe for blood-hungry psychopaths, but for those of us who love an American icon, it's bullshit. This is a Captain new America's kind of Superman critic. He's obviously not the one we grew up with. Yeah, that one made sense. What? Time traveling, flying around the world. Mostly makes sense. You okay, just can't well. accept the fact that this is something new. And while we all know that the first two films are legendary, what about the it's what's the time third? For a different way of looking at this story that's been told a thousand times the same way. Okay. What? Was it told differently? I'm sick to death of that bullshit argument. So I'll tell you what. I am willing to look at this in a new light. Because, hey, we should be willing to accept things from a new point of view. I will That's still try my best true. to accept this as its own unique thing, without drawing any references from the original movies. Deal? Deal. But you have to acknowledge that when a moment sucks, it fucking sucks, no matter how much <laughs> testosterone-filled bullshit is in it. I make no promises. Joe! All right, fine. <sighs> well, let's look at the movie that has the internet totally split down the middle. This is either the absolutely loved or absolutely hated. There's no in between. We start off I wonder with what, here on why Every some people like it, but why other people don't. This is a Zack Snyder like, what are the biggest Everything criticisms? Everything obviously either looks like H.R. Geiger's hand-me-downs or penises. Ooh. Look at these things! That, Tell me that, that doesn't is. look like the Little Mermaid poster. I actually quite like the new Krypton look. Sci-fi, medieval mesh, interesting wildlife. But I suppose the floating robots do look a bit like the hairdo in the last era. <laughs> they oh, do, no, 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 we have interpretations of that in barbed wire. As our high council is wearing what I assume is Krypton's version of mini roller coasters. Why? Why? Are you seriously suggesting that we evacuate the entire planet? No. Yes. Everybody here is already dead. A lot oh. of you know the drill here. Superman's father, Jor-El, played by Russell Crowe, is trying Russell to convince Crow. the higher ups that the planet Krypton is about to explode and nobody believes. I mean, why, why would they not believe? The entire him? world blowing up isn't exciting enough. Let's throw in a hostile takeover while we're at it too. Crazy time to do that, I this guess. This particular anarchy. hostile takeover is led by General Zod, played by Michael. Why does everyone say I lisp like Willem Dafoe Shannon? These lawmakers with their oh, he was in uh, Kangaroo Jack. Help me save our race. The degenerative bloodlines that led us to this state. And who will decide which bloodline survives on? You. I humbly accept your nomination. Got him. Don't leave this hell. So, seeing how Zod's army fought off this world's equivalent of White House security so easily, it only makes sense that Jarrell should be, we'll be able to fight off Zod's army that broke through this world's equivalent of White House security so easily. Makes I sense. I think. He rides on his dragonfly... dragon, picks up yet another subplot, because Lord knows we don't have enough of those going on in this opening, and plans right. to put it in a space pod, sending his son to Earth, who will be the only survivor. But they they knew about Earth? Goodbye, my son. Nah, shoot, we gotta have that pesky emotion. Come on, this is a Christopher Nolan story. You can throw in more subplots. At least strap that Wait, baby so is this Christopher box. Nolan, not Zack Snyder? I remember the big deal when Love is the he Snyder Cut. The dentist chair and is sent out towards. Was that how many years ago? Just was that? before Zod's forces arrive. Concentrate fire on the main door. Yes, person who clearly has no microphone attached to his mouth. What have you done? We've had a child, Zod. Perish it! Destroy it! They stuff what? a bag of marshmallows in his mouth before talking? Perish it! Destroy it! <laughs> Perish it! Destroy it! Actually, the funny thing about Michael Shannon's performance is how he manages to be both over the top extreme and under the bottom restrained. It's kind both. of like watching Jerry Lewis act. He it's may Jerry start Lewis. off low and appear not to be very interested, but then in a millisecond he can change into oh, hey with the screaming and the yelling and the nice lady. Oh, were, were they up. captured? He great. Michael Shannon is a damn good actor. He was portraying a bitter, single-minded man who has nothing to lose as he's pushed to the breaking point. Yeah, but does his breaking point have to sound like a bulldog? You won't kill us yourself. You wouldn't kill oh, your head. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, well, at least he doesn't sound like a screaming goat when he yells. Hey, I hope. I do not. <sighs> Bearded asshole. <laughs> but Zod gets the best of him just before security gets the best of Zod. This calls for a Hans Zimmer blow. Uh, is that what that's called? Is anyone else sick of that sound yet? I swear, what if Hans that? Zimmer did the music to your good man Charlie Brown, it'd be your good man Charlie. <laughs> I've actually never seen so Charlie Zod Brown. Is sentenced to imprisonment in the Phantom Zone. You believe Have fun your there. son is safe? I will find him. Sorry, didn't quite catch that. I will find him. No, still didn't get it. I will find him. But why is he still not coming through? Tell you what, say it as loud and ridiculously what, is there only as one your pod? large eyes and mouth will allow. I will find him! Now I hear ya. No, you won't. Bye. I swear to God, look at Bye. Look at Dead. It. No, that's. So they wait for the inevitable, as it's the end of the world as they know it, and everyone feels blandly fine. Why did she put, just put the the capsule away? They had so much time! Shouldn't you find refuge? What? I can't hear you over the incredibly quiet destruction of the world! Aren't they all, like, strong as Superman, though? You're trying to tell me, like, none of them could, like... So Kal-El travels to the planet known as Earth, where he but, lands... But Superman could, like, go uh, into the sun. Catch. Okay, we may have skipped forward a touch, but at least now we have time to give Clark, played by Henry Cavill, some proper development for Cavill, his Cavill? That's how you say his name? I thought it was... Just blow oh, shit I guess that would make sense. Because the past 20 minutes clearly haven't shown enough of that. Like I said... The explosion on the planet was big enough to kill them. Also, I am Leonidas Wolverine Brawny Man. Follow my non-flammable pants to freedom. He wasn't an adult when he landed, was he? Like he got, he had, when he was a kid, show. right? Oh, we're in this kind of story. What okay, so it was a kid. The out of order story that got critical uh, yeah. acclaim with Memento, so Nolan's been trying to use it with every film he's been attached to. He's a boy, Memento. he's a man, he's a teenager, he's a boy again, he's a man. And it wouldn't be so bad if he would at least talk about what he's going through, but he never does. Wait, aren't you the one saying that Nolan films already have too much dialogue already? What well, kind of, sort of, maybe. It depends on how you use it. I mean, if it's needed, use it. If it's not, don't. Well, you actually what don't is need it? it here. That's scenes fair. Scenes like Clark as a boy getting used to his powers are already emotional scenes. You don't have to explain them. Now that's true. Scenes like this yeah. are good on their own, but we're getting background on a guy whose personality we're never given time to know. Look at this. I think we I've seen that scene. To childhood, and then we come and back to the, present time. The, the trucker dude later, goes outside. And, to yeah. His childhood. Welcome back. Missed ya. They never give any time to understand this guy. I've got to know the personality of my minute rise more than I have this person. So what's wrong with that? Lots of us constantly get flashbacks out of nowhere about their troubling childhood. Joe? What's that, Papa? Oh no. No, I don't want to wear the big lobster costume. No, <laughs> what? Why make me wear that anyways? No, Papa, no, not the nipple tasers, please. The what? I think the less I know about this, the better. That's, yeah, no, that was so a good transition. countless moments of intense scenes and harsh action, what is this flashback gonna show? Some intense scenes and harsh action. How does that just happen? Wow, this film's running the gamut of all two things that can be done with a movie. So young Clark saves the bus of kids, which Hi. leads to the dismay Kill of his father, hey, John, it's, uh... played by that voice box that sounds like Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Or maybe it's just Kevin Costner. They're Forever remembered in draft deck. We talked about this, you have... Well, Clark, you have to keep this side of yourself a secret. And this, of course, gives way to one of the most controversial I mean, how is he going to explain that he movie. survived? John Ken saying he should have let the kids on the bus die. What was I supposed to do? No, no, Just no, let no, die? no. Yeah, no. They he did no. He was supposed to save them. Maybe. Yeah. What do you got to say about that, Joe? Joe. No, but for not the nitroglycerin! Joe! The, the what? <laughs> the nitroglycerin? Sorry. The scene where John Ken says drown the bastards. Hey, <laughs> hey, he doesn't say let them die. He says maybe let them die. That's you know, it, it's, it's, it's his way of saying I, he doesn't know. It's and clear cut. And that's what's so great about it. Because it mimics real life 
far more. Yeah, than well, he actually, he makes it, a it very good point. People don't always have the answers. All he knows is that he doesn't want his son to be discovered and hurt. But he never but, says let them die. He says he doesn't know. Okay, fine. Talk that's to very one. true. Why can't Superman's father then talk to him like a father? What do you mean? He is the one that builds him up. And that's it. I and mean, that is kind of what a father would talk about. about. He is. You were sent here for a reason. When the world finds out what you can do, it's going to change everything. You're not just anyone, Clark. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Stand proud in front of the human race. He's less of a tough father and more like a stereotypical Jewish mother. Oh, you <laughs> gotta see my son. When the world finds out what he can do, it's going to change Is that everything. an actual thing? He was sent here for a reason. He's the answer to are we alone in the universe. Ma'am, 911 is for emergencies only. Oh, sorry. I could have had a busload of drowned kids for you, but my son <laughs> saved them too. But don't worry, I punished him properly for that. Ma'am, uh, never pick is that a threat? <laughs> again. Why does everyone keep telling me that? Come on, those are some strong, well written. Also, the words. green screen. It's every with that. destiny monologue we've heard before. Oh, yeah? Prove it. People are afraid of what they don't understand. You always fear what you don't understand. People fear what they don't understand. People fear what they uh, don't understand. Fox understand. kids. People are afraid. What is the what, what is happening? Understand. What are what are everyone in that table? He he said it differently though. Oh, did he? We found you in this. This was in the chamber with you. I took it to a metallurgist at Kansas State. Metallurgist? It was made from what? That exists on the periodic table. That's another way of saying that it's not from this world, Clark. They surprisingly asked no questions and let me Did take not know he was an alien? home without ever calling anybody. See, they knew how to keep a secret. And it turns or out he years later, being born. Clark does a good job carrying that secret. Like when a bully inflicts no physical harm <laughs> that, that, whatsoever, so he I've seen, yeah. the truck, costing God knows how much money And nobody death. hears that. But at least he didn't save anybody. So, seeing how we're watching Clark go on this long journey, are we finally gonna get some idea of what his personality is like? Yeah, you all know the answer to this. Hello, uh, other characters and subplots. Uh, One of Amy them being Lois Lane, played by Amy Adams, doing a report on right. some sort of disturbance. Oh, hell no, you cannot badmouth Lois Lane. She is a stronger character, a more confident one. She's a risk taker. She doesn't have time for the military's pissing contest. She actually does something in this film. Does she? she? What does she do? screaming for someone to save her. Her. Oh, she's yeah, not just a damsel in the distress. Nolan the what? The Nolan Ray. You see, I have no doubt that Zack Snyder started off having Lois as an interesting, funny, opinionated character. Because at first, she does seem that way. If we're done measuring dicks, can you have your people show me what you found? But then she's zapped by the Nolan Ray, and suddenly every line of dialogue is emphasizing the weight of how important the movie you're watching is. Remember uh. when his father was bawling him out like a real father? Right, yeah. we talked about this, you have- Boom! Nolan Ray! You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Remember how uh. Lois Lane was feisty and took no nonsense from anybody? Well, what can I say? I get writer's block if I'm not wearing a flat jacket. Boom! Nolan Ray! The questions raised by my rescuer's existence are frightening to contemplate. Even uh, Barry White, played by Lawrence Fishburne, he oh. starts off in your face screaming about oh. stories and deadlines. You let Woodburn just shotgun it all over the internet. No, let's make it three weeks since you're so willing to agree with me. No, oh, that's way too interesting. Little bit of the Nolan Ray will fix that. Uh -huh. Imagine how people on this planet would react if they knew there was something that must be a common like thing. this out there. The Nolan Ray, because whatever important issue you're talking about, it can always be more important. Critic, you know, sometimes life is like that. Life can be tough. Life can be cruel. Life can throw lobster costumes and nipple tasers into your reality. Am I ever gonna know the story to that? You don't want to. Know the better. That's fair. I can definitely so agree with that. So follows a certain laser-eyeing someone into the ice where she discovers a spaceship. A spaceship that apparently saw her performance uh. in Julie and Julia. Oh, oh, why? But Clark is there to take down the machine, heal her wounds, and... Wait, he can just do that? ...apparently leave her for dead. When she observes that Clark has taken the spaceship away, she tries to write a report on it, only to find her boss oh. won't run it. So she lets it leak to the internet. My editor won't print it, but if it happened to leak online... But didn't you once you describe do that? my site as a creeping cancer of falsehoods? Hey, look, it's TMZ. <laughs> 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 They're the scum of the earth. 
So Clark loads the exposition uh. program, and through some pretty awesome effects, a computer with what's left of Jarrell explains Krypton's history. What what's left of Jarrell? That's my name. And I'm Shelter. I'll race what? spread out through the stars. The scout. But why were you all on one planet? Into the void. We sent thousands of these scout ships, and yet our backup plan, in case the world blows up, was a little baby-sized pod. You can see why we didn't last very long. Uh, yeah. Official population control was established. So it's explained that Clark is Krypton's first natural birth in centuries. Oh, Not exactly that's sure a big how deal. They control that, or whether everyone just kept to the honor system, or if they genetically altered babies to be born with chastity belts. But regardless, Clark has apparently broken the chain. And he now knows it's his job to do what he can for all mankind. <laughs> so he practices flying around the mountainside. Wait, does he not fly until this? His finger off the goddamn zoom button. How do you yeah, find you out? Know very quickly, do you know how to a lot of fly? This movie. For no reason at all, whenever there's fast paced motion, the camera has to zoom in on it you like a monkey probably with zoom, a fucking cam zoom cord. out. It's kind of reminds me of those like that bad CGI movie. fake videos you see. Oh, come on, honey, give daddy the camera. That are like oh, no, all for show Mr. Snyder my test for you me know, to just like you know fake good. videos or whatever. If it's ever like super shaky, it's always like yeah, no, it's not real. I can explain. Oh, I love this. I knew you would. So Lois goes searching for her rescuer slash lever of people to die in the snow, and through asking questions and listening to hearsay, she locates exactly where he is. Of course this calls for celebrating with another flashback. I'm tired of safe. I just want to do something useful with my life. So farming, feeding people, that's not that's not useful. That's pretty useful. Been farming for five generations far. But wait a minute, Papa Kent, did you oh, so how did they explain that they had a kid? say that he was destined to change the world when people discovered By him? farming. When the world finds out what you can do, it's going to change everything. And now you're saying you never want him to be discovered and you just want him to be a farmer? I'm starting to think Clark has three fathers. Jarrell, John, and John's other friggin' personality. But get ready for a big shock here. What? Something big and terrible tries to kill them. And thus, they all try to seek shelter. Hey, still in the car! Hey, in the car! I'll get him, I'll get him. Uh-huh. No. Get your mom to the overpass. But wait a minute. The doggo. Get the doggy. What about Boomer? Boomer would be saved by John, even though it would have been a lot easier if he uh. just sent Clark in to go get him, causing John to hurt his leg, unable to make it back in time. But he stops uh. Clark from saving even him. Even though there'd be nobody. He's an hungry martyr who doesn't want Clark to be outed, even though he's going to be outed just a few years later anyway. Uh. But wait, what? Who would have even yep. seen that? Even Wouldn't everybody just be a million other ways this problem could have been solved? John Kent sacrifices himself because also, he if he flew, maybe, the maybe he didn't know how to fly. Doing a goddamn thing. He's just doing what he thinks is right. But it's not right. But he thinks it's right. Does that make it right? Does that make it not right? Not right? 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 What the hell did we just agree on? You see, this movie's deeper than you think. It's raising questions. Oh, shut up. While we're at it, uh, why does everyone in this movie take death like a light breeze? All of the people pretty who permanent. die in this film never flinch, move, or even make a noise. And these deaths have ranged from stabbing, explosion, and tornado. I think somebody in that lineup would at least go ow. Yeah. Well, the movie's tired of waiting for Clark to actually do anything, so General Zod appears on the Monarch ship to threaten the world to hand him over. I think whoever's at the helm of that thing is looking to make a dramatic entrance. You Thanks think? for the arrow, by the way. We never will have known what we were supposed to look at. <laughs> so unneeded. My name is General Zod. I How'd you know they didn't know that they were? Far from you. So it looks like How'd their ability not, to no. take over all of Earth's video footage understandably gives a barely visible picture. Which but is for terrifying. some reason, that sound sure seems crystal clear. To Kal-El, I say this. Surrender within 24 hours. Wow. And tell Nash, those Earth, Earth hours? Or... It works great. No problem, tyrannical overlord! Watch this world suffer the consequences. Consequences. This is Orson Welles, ladies and gentlemen, to assure you that the War of the what? World has no further significance than as the holiday offering it was intended to be. So Clark tries to Holiday figure out offering. what to do what? and seeks the advice of both his mother and possibly a higher source. What is that? I don't know uh, where to start. Grab what you want. 
I, I uh, can't make that out. What is that? Do you know why they want you? No. Is he leaving this like incredibly vague? Stop! I can't hear you of your obvious symbolism. Jesus! Jesus! We got the point, okay? Go to the next scene! Go to the next scene! Jesus! So Clark reveals himself okay. and surrenders to the military. Wow, handcuffs. Lois, seeing how she's the only one who knew anything about his existence. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. It's an S. On my world, it means hope. But on this world, it's an S. Well, here it's an S. Oh. <laughs> well, I could look at your ass all day. <laughs> really? Hey, you done worse. I S titties. I S I S and titties. I S. Oh. Is, is in so he convinces humanity that he's not a threat and that he's going to hand himself over to Zod. Humanity goes, okay. okay. And lets him turn himself in to Zod's second in command, Feora. But she also seems to want Lois to go with two. But they're also General fine. Zod would like this woman to accompany me. It's all right. I'll go. Why? We also got Julie and Julia on planet Krypton. You will pay for costing Meryl Streep and Oscar. As if she doesn't what? have enough. Shut up. So they go aboard Zod's ship, but Clark has a hard time adapting to their atmosphere. What's happening to him? He's rejecting our ship's oh. atmospherics. Why? Sounds Hello. like a trap. Welcome to my weird mental thingy. I and my fellow officers were sentenced to the Phantom Zone. So Zod explains how, how long? they were freed once Krypton was destroyed, and how they got the ship working to travel to Earth to find him. I will find yes, him! Yes, we remember. Uh huh. He explains that the codex for all living things on Krypton is in his possession, and so he has the power to make Krypton live again. How? Krypton lives again. What happens to Earth? The foundation has to be built on something. Wait. So he's gonna take over Earth and make Earth the new you know, Krypton? Is That's it really the plot. Wise to tell your only hope for the future of your race that you're going to destroy his everything place he that knows. He calls home. Wouldn't that kind of make him resistant and thus make things go a little slower? At least Zod's honest. this wasn't what he was supposed to see. Maybe they accidentally put in the wrong program to show him. If I give you the Codex, what happens to Earth? Uh, the foundation that Rob? has to be That's built Rob. on something. No, 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 no! No, no, skulls! Skulls everywhere! Who does that? You can't, this isn't going to make him happy. What is that symbol supposed to be? From the happy program, the uh, it's happy a U. Program. I guess it, maybe it's a horseshoe. Uh, see, much better. Look, we've got dancing bunnies here, and oh, look at flowy, the flowy the flower. And oh, there's even a unicorn riding a marshmallow rainbow. Isn't that That's adorable? Not. You'll stay here until we remember the incredibly important oh. reason we brought you on board. Yeah, there was some reason <laughs> why they brought her along hostage, maybe? This gives her a chance to use jor in a box as they plan what I have to admit is a pretty awesome escape. Thanks to you, I'm uploading into the ship's mainframe. Oh, okay. Bro's just casually still there. Nice. You're right. Fire. Find him. Okay. Oh I want this guy as an AI on my next first person shooter game. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Located in most escape points. Is she gonna is he gonna remind her that it's always faster to uh secure yourself inside the open. It's always faster to switch weapons before <laughs> reloading. Or instead of reloading. Oh, they got her off the ship. That's fine. This also allows Clark to escape as he's set to go down. But to then Earth again, he could also just we be like on what it meant to be human first. Would this be like, hey, the time was right. give us the girl. You could be the bridge between two peoples. You can save all of them. But my father said never to be noticed or help people. Your father's a twat who directed the post menu. I'll go. I am Jesus! I am Jesus! Uh, we and heard you the first time! Hey, what's having a conversation in space? your symbolism here or there. Here or there? I don't think the Bible has as much Jesus imagery. Okay, okay, but what would someone who's half immortal and half human be like? Would he be more human or would he be more godlike? Yes, he floats. Is, why is he half immortal? Boss, but 
But to me, they're just trying to have him move graceful in space, okay? They're not literally saying he's Jesus or Wires God. palms out. And the church scene supports that he's humble. He's more human than we know. He needs the advice of others to help him make the right decisions. And this is when I do agree with that. comes over to our side, becomes one of us. You know what? Forget it. Let's just say you win. Really? Yeah, I'll claim it's Citizen Kane as long as I don't want to watch any more of this dark unpleasantness. It'll probably please happy angry fanboys too. Alright, score one for Angry Joe. I'm gonna convince you yeah. Oh, it's Angry Joe, that's who that is. You know, how come my show is so easy to hack? <laughs> I come from a world far from you. I've traveled over the ocean of stars to reach... Oh, hold on a second. It's not working. Why do oh, still have dial-up? This is General Zod. I've been watching your little review and I'm just Is he supposed to be British? That you are giving it a positive rating. Yeah, he loves it now. It's like one of his favorite movies. Shut up, Joe. Perhaps you're <laughs> unaware of how many people watch you, Nostalgia Critic, and how much I Did personally paint on a beard? despise the film you are currently reviewing. And how easy it would be for you to rearrange your testicles so that they look like Jackson Pollock droppings. Oh. That joke's on you, Zod. Once the critic makes up his mind, nothing changes it. Joe. You can literally Not helping. rip his intestines out with an onion peeler. Joe. Or you could suck what do you mean, onion peeler? There's an onion peelers? That's a thing? Joe. Or you could put him in a lobster costume and you'd hang him upside down over a pit of ferrets and jerk Did they at least put them? Joe, Butter? surprisingly, this isn't helping. Look, Zod. Hold on, I'm writing that last one down. Zod, no. the review isn't done yet. I'm gonna watch it all the way through. Very good. And if you don't hate it, I will make sure that the corpse they find of you, they will never recognize as a corpse. Hey, that's oh. not fair. Critic, if you go back on your opinion, you're gonna have the whole of the internet hounding you down like an animal. Uh, what's worse? Can't we all just hate Superman 4? Why? 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 Why would, why would we hate Superman 4? What's wrong with Superman 4? Uh... Okay. God, it's so loud. I, I'm, so I feel like I make my videos a little too quiet, but I just now. hate Superman. when videos are Get super, out of the super escape pod before it explodes. loud. Oh, what a charming romantic mu- Oh, no time for that here. We got exposition to spew. I didn't want to tell them anything about you, but they did something to me. They looked inside my mind. It's okay, Lois. Oh. They did the same thing to me. Is it really? Uh, guess they forgot to show that scene. Kind of but did he actually, or was he could kidding? Get the exact same information out of him. Hell, maybe Zod managed to find the correct imagery this time. You see, Miss Lane, all of this uh, the, and more can be that yours explains if you it. Just give us the information we require. Even the unicorn riding the marshmallow rainbow. Even the unicorn riding the marshmallow rainbow. So Zod approaches Clark's and mother dressed right as that thing from the opening of Alien and tries to force her to alien. tell him where the codex is. The codex is not here. Is that what the little piece of metal was? No, no. Wow, that Where effect was something. I don't know. Where is the codex? <laughs> Does this guy have any charm outside of just shouting his ass off? How'd this guy get this position anyway? It's all down to shouting. <laughs> Is that Mr. Bean? Superman saves his mother, <laughs> but potentially Hello. dooms this entire town oh, no. by bringing the battle to them. It seems okay for the moment as Zod can't adapt to Earth's atmosphere, but Miss Not Ursa and her masked minions can make up for that. By doing what? No, not the IHOP. They're gonna be so sticky. I'm sorry, sir. The red, white, and blue pancakes are at Denny's. I appreciate your enthusiasm, though. And as many people have pointed out, the product placements in this is, scene is are Sears? beyond horrendous. Including some painful plugs for IHOP, Sears, 7-Eleven, U-Haul. There's so many okay. ads crashing in this scene, I don't think they could properly plug them all in time. I mean, I when guess it's town, more realistic. Get a healthy dose of pancakes from IHOP. Oh wait, when you need a little pick-me-up, you get a Slurpee. Slushy from 7 -11. They're Slurpees, I mean, not Slushies. you're looking for clothes for any occasion, Sears is the place where you thought... The Sears? Still in business? Soon. Let U-Haul handle all of your services. Oh, now you're not even trying. Uh, all right, all right, I'll, I'll give you that one. There is way too much. 
of that in the film. But Critic, yeah. I guess you don't want to see ads in real life. The steam is still amazing. Kind of deal. What, with countless plugs and people dying left and right? Come on, you know your inner man child can't look past how amazingly awesome the wanton destruction is. Uh, yes, no, maybe so. And of course it's fucking awesome! Oh. Oh my god, that sea racing the man and he throws it out there like Okay, go watch Fast and Furious. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that an Aten Warthog? Oh, that... Rest in peace to Kira Toriyama. Pardon me, but was I hearing enjoyment of this picture? I, uh, no sir. Good. Pussy. No, that's what I'm going to be if I piss him off. <laughs> he finally gets their helmets off. Strange seeing how Zod's came off in one explosion and theirs took like a bajillion. And seeing how he's won, he goes back to his mother to see if she's all right. Is she? My suit, son. <laughs> so sorry. It's only stuff, Clark. Oh, good. That's Could fair. you tell the people down the street that? Most of my ass and property damages. But Zod discovers the Codex is in Superman's bloodstream and that he doesn't what? need to be alive in order for them to get it. Oh, so no. it's time to do a little planet redecorating. How big is that ship? That came off of the ship? Ladies and gentlemen, I guess I can see the ship from the, the surface. Of a major city in a summer blockbuster before, we give you that thing we just said. That's oh an interesting way to attack. Look at all the places they're destroying, including IHOP, Denny's, Toys, Toys R Us, uh, Sears, all of the ingeniously marketed humanity. So two machines on either side of the world start leveling the planet. Why? This calls for Star Trek style mumbo jumbo mixed in with a simple analogy the audience can understand. The ship is powered by something called a phantom drive. It bends space. Zod's ship uses the same technology, and if we can make the two drives collide with one another, a singularity can be created. Like a black hole. Like That's not good. In a balloon. Of course. That would be so really simple. bad. So the army goes to take out the one in the city, while Superman goes to take out the one over the. What, did, what do you send now, I know to fight there's a that? Lot of people who get angry saying Superman should have taken the one in the city first. No, it's not just Superman who saves the world with one direct method. Brave civilians, our military, and Superman working together. What? What can the one, military do against aliens? Only he can make it there that fast to the other side of the world, and only he could possibly. That is true. It'd be over there. Joe, honestly, this setup is so confusing. I'll just take your word for it. No. Everybody goes nuts over this, so I'm Why? gonna explain it. What if Superman went for the main one and then they went for the other one there? They may not be able to shut the other one down. Maybe the other one has a, a self-destruct mechanism which would blow up the entire Is that, Earth if wait. the first one got blown up. Khaleesi, so adapts the Daenerys Targaryen. Atmosphere. Apparently half a lifetime of getting used to this can be reduced down to a couple of seconds now. And grabs uh -huh. the scout ship in order to start rebuilding Krypton. Meanwhile, Lewis Alrighty. is on board the military ship about to blast the other one to hell. When Does he like bring Krypton to there or something? How do you know? Damn it, Lewis! You had one job that we pointlessly put you in charge of, and that was just to push a button, and you couldn't even do that right. Why isn't it working now? Did that that be rotated? Oh, there you go. Eventually get it to work, but Zod is hot on their trail. Target that aircraft. That's not good. With extreme disinterest. Oh, they're catching up real fast. But Superman stops the machine over the Indian Ocean That's... and flies back to destroy Zod on his ship. I mean, he is really fast, so. If you destroy this ship, you destroy Krypton! Okay, I mean, Krypton was going to destroy Earth. Krypton had its chance! The bridge between two worlds, everybody. If you have a chance to save a civilization, but... Yeah, they were kind of jerks. Just destroy any chance of them ever coming back. I guess oh. the bridge in this movie is code for either us or them. And uh, honestly, I really hope. even us kind of got the raw end of it. Is that a Saturn? I think so. You should definitely be covering your face. You do not want to be inhaling all that oh, dust God in the bridge. Could you say that in a part of the city that doesn't look quite so 9 11 For crying out loud, all that's missing is Bush and a banner that says mission accomplished. <laughs> You know, they say it's all downhill after the first kiss. He's still Who going. Who the hell says that? 
But it turns I, out I, Zod yeah, is never still alive heard that and somehow. angry that his future has been reduced to hot chocolate mix. I exist only to protect Krypton. Do you? And every action I take, no matter how violent... Go find another cool. planet to do this, too. Is for the greater good. The greater good. Oh, he still got some fight in him? Superman at any cost. Logically, seeing how he'll chase Superman anywhere, but Superman leads him to a location far Zod away from the people so be... that none of them will ever get hurt. Or he once again brings the most dangerous thing in the world to Why the people you he's Run. to protect. Yeah, I'm sure they're really thankful. Thanks for saving us, Superman. Uh, yeah, imagine the and then Zod just shows up. Could have been done if you didn't come to our planet. Oh look, Zod. Yeah. Oh Jesus is gonna coming back. Is he's gonna save us again? Superman putting us above all else again. Oh God! Is that the Statue of Liberty? Oh no! Oh Jim! Oh Jim! <laughs> and something else. Yep. Superman gets him in a headlock, but Zod That's vows effective. to make what he supposedly cares for most suffer. The random person. Even though there's about three or four different ways those they people could, could probably avoid. get out of there. Yeah. Uh, you have to admit, Soup, this isn't all me. What? These people are just Duck? idiots. Maybe we're down? Maybe? Thus we get our biggest controversial moment in all of the movie. Does he let Superman the... breaks the oh. God's neck. Really? Nothing from you on that one, Joe? Oh, oh wait. Oh. And that's how I saved Christmas with a lightning gun! Huh? What was I talking about? The controversial neck breaking scene. Why is oh, it controversial? You know, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw that scene, I hated it. Why? But the more you really think about it, this is a really bold choice. Because ultimately it lets also, it... win. It plays again to a young How does it turn off his eyes when that's happening though? How he knows his actions will have huge ramifications. Yeah, it's because having the city nuked didn't have enough ramifications. Point True. being, it's a catalyst now. For why he will never ever take another life. The fact that he uh, had to do it to one of his own people. Uh, but, one of the but, last but, remaining but what about the entire city? At that moment, he not only chooses to be human, but he makes the ultimate sacrifice for humanity. And he also makes himself forever alone. I agree. Ha! He's the last. I knew you'd say that. Wait, Wait what? what? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, the most hated scene by so many fans actually didn't bother me that much. I mean, keep in mind, it's we <laughs> saw Superman kill Zod in the second movie and no one had a heart attack over that. But and he came back for this that, one? Even though it could have been illustrated better, I like the idea they were going for. That you won't always have answers to situations that are That's always true. Complete. Like, It's actually a very difficult, very hard thing it's to It's a tough call to make. With. Too bad forgotten in the very next scene. He just blows some mean? more shit up because, like I said, we haven't seen enough of that. Yeah, it's pretty rushed. I mean, he takes down a satellite and then they make a joke oh, that was about easy. how hot he is. And, and they never bring it up again. It's and almost like the scene before don't... never freaking the, happened. The skies work. This me the fuck off. They just ruined it right there. They never established that killing people was a big thing for him. Hell, we saw so many other civilians die. I figure they could be used to seeing it by now. Um, we never actually see any of those people that, die that as somebody. a result from Superman. I mean, sure, we see people die when Zod's ship is, is like humping the Earth, but I get what you're saying. You're actually <sighs> saying we agree on the neck break then. I think so. The one part most fans universally hate, we actually think is okay? For the most part, yeah. What do you think? So does I read your comments. You actually like it, critic? I don't know if yes. that one scene. Does that mean you actually oh. like this nostalgia critic? Uh... I still think this movie is awful. Oh. oh. Come on, man. Why? No, I'm sorry. I just think it's terrible. 
There are some things I like. All the actors. Was that an Aten Warthog crashing? Choices. That the makes me sad. scenes are awesome. And though I like the more upbeat Superman, I'm open to the idea of a darker version. But these characters have no idea. It is an Aten Warthog. Outside of their job and how they look, you wouldn't even know that this was Clark Kent or Lois Lane if they didn't call them Clark Kent or Lois Lane. The millions of subplots are not needed and get in the way of any emotional connection we want to make. The incoherent storytelling is pointless and annoying, and as so, a superhero, he lets way too many people die in this. Even if he's he a superhero with priorities. It, I still win like this stupid, illogical mess. Look, I think you're totally wrong, Critic. Everything you just said, those characters <laughs> seem boring to you because they're not as over the top or single noted and as the comic book ones or the Christopher Reeves versions. It's a new kind of Superman that needs a less cliched character, okay? It needs a yeah, he is and less cliche. Because we've seen the other Superman stories already. Those are still there. And by putting the Indies morally confusing lessons that you call illogical, I see them as challenging. Uh, and there's no way to save every single body. Yeah, from the previous I guess it's more of a realistic a superhero movie what it means to be human and more than human and trying to do the right thing yet he still manages to rise above it and save us all this movie is awesome uh, oh please you Houstonians will read too much into anything why don't you say that to my fist hair gel oh, oh. Who's talking? That's what I well, uh, is that what it really wanted to do <laughs> it was that what it wanted to do it wanted to make people feel extreme about it their capacity for good i have sent them you my only son uh what is the what i think i understand now joe i will never like this movie i think it's an insult to everything superman stands for and i will never understand how you could actually like it oh nice but just because i can't see how doesn't mean i can't understand why Oh, because I'm a blood-hungry psychopath, right? No! I mean, you are, but that's not why I think you like it. When I see this movie, I see people dying for the sake of getting violent, craving teens in the seats. But that's not what you see. What do you, you see one of your favorite superheroes being tested and put through a greater that's, challenge yeah. than ever before. And by having him witness and go through so much intensity... How many people's favorite superhero is Superman? ...and his struggle all the more interesting. For you, and probably a lot of the people that enjoy this movie, you're seeing the Man of Steel go up against some of the greatest evil that he's ever gone up against. Because he's of also having to make decisions. So when he rises up, you can feel all the more proud of what a terrible thing he stopped. It's not craving dark, horrible things like a maniac. It's seeing someone fight against those dark, horrible things. And not just through him uh, holding heavy stuff, but by standing up for what he feels is important. The, the heaviest thing is conscious. Thing. But at the very least, I know that's what you see. So, as long as you're viewing it because you want to see the best of strength and kindness rise up against the worst of oppression and force, all I can say is, go ahead and enjoy it, man. Thanks for understanding me. Huh. That's how things should be. Bullshit won't work on me, Houstonian! Don't worry, critic. I'll stop him. Just tell me how. Hey, how are you doing that? Much better. What? Now, prepare for an entree of spilled organs and pain! Oh, hey, look at Superman. Oh, for Christ's sake, will you guys stop punching holes in my ceiling? Here to stop you again, Zod. Didn't they just have, like, a roof leak a little while ago? Careful, Zod. You know what I can do. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do? Kill me? You break my neck, you'll have message boards all over you like an unemployed writer at Starbucks. So come on, big man. What are you gonna do? Uh, what is he gonna do? I don't know who that guy is. You lasered his balls off? Yep, but at least I didn't kill him. Is that worse? But you lasered his <laughs> balls off. Also, why are they in a diner? I'm coming, and I'm surprised he had him to begin with. Jesus. Well, then what'd you do? Uh, you know, the usual. Made sure they got the oh, made out with Lois for a bit. Flew into space, smiled for the camera. And I bet Is you that the end of the movie? to a Hans Zimmer theme. Come on, man. No, 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 no. I swear, they're like exactly the same. I mean, here's my theme. Is that now, here's your theme. 
It's like a similar that, that, Okay. Yeah. Hey, you know, speaking of rip offs, does this seem at all familiar to you? What Avengers? You like just this. Or was the Iron Man movie? Feel like when they're in the diner? Before. Oh my god, don't look. What? I said, don't look. Who is it? Oh. You looked, did you? Yep. Yes, I did. Did they see you? I don't think so. Are you sure? I don't I know what check. that is. I, 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 don't look. <clears throat> I. <clears throat> They're looking right at us. Just keep your They're eyes probably been doing us. that. Okay. Hey. Hey. Batman doesn't have a beard. We don't hear that. We don't hear that. We're keeping our eyes down on the table. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. Oh, here's the song again. Joe Vargas. How it should have ended, especially like the how it should have ended dot com. Rob Scallion, Superman is Batman available on iTunes. Hopefully, I didn't have to like mess with the audio. Angry Joe, that's his name. I really hope I didn't have to mess with the audio because copyright. That'd be real bad. That'd be real unfortunate. Of course, Jim. Jim has been around for a while. That's a whole lot of a whole lot of clips. It's a Q and A with Doug. Yeah, he just had that apparently. So this was. I will find him. You did find him. You did find him. This was Man of Steel. Certainly something, and apparently it has people split. I wonder what the actual rating is. I wonder if it's like a a fifty percent rating because people can't decide whether they love it or hate it, or people can decide whether they love it or hate it. It's just there's no in between. You either love it or hate it kind of deal. But maybe the next one will be Batman v Superman. I'm not really sure. I look forward to reading your comments. This is a long video, so I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully it made your day a tiny little bit better. Shout out to the patrons and shout out to everybody watching the video. But until the next one, take care and keep the music. We were playing that song.